The objective of this practice is to deposit multiple pass fillet welds on T-joints with the whip and pause technique and to use proper techniques for controlling distortion. The T-joint has many important uses in industry. Bridge works, machinery stands, semi-trailers, heavy equipment, and building structures. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper protective clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. Position the plates on the table to form a T-joint. Hold them firmly together and make strong tack welds at each end to hold the plates together while welding. Strike the arc near the end of the joint and angle the electrode 45 degrees from the vertical member and 5 to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Hold the normal one diameter arc length and use the whip and pause motion to deposit a bead two electrode diameters wide. Move one diameter forward and then back one half diameter. Pause slightly before again moving forward to produce an even bead. Follow this procedure for the entire length of the joint. Break the arc and thoroughly remove the slag. Cool the plates in water to save time. Do not use water on the job because it will weaken the weld. Alternating sides for each new bead is necessary to minimize distortion and heat buildup. Keep bead dimensions equal. You may have to overlap slightly more than it seems necessary to avoid depositing too much metal on the bottom leg of the joint. Break the arc and clean the slag thoroughly after each pass. For the third bead, Center the end of the electrode over the bottom toe of the first bead, angling it 35 to 40 degrees away from the vertical plate and 5 to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Use the whip and pause motion as before. Center the electrode over the bottom toe of the second bead and deposit the fourth bead using the same procedure. To deposit the fifth bead, center the electrode over the top toe of the first bead. Angle the electrode 55 degrees from the vertical plate and 5 to 10 degrees in the direction of travel. Use the whip and pause technique. The sixth bead is done in the same manner, centering the electrode over the top toe of the second bead and using the whip and pause motion. Be careful to avoid undercutting, which is caused by overheated weld metal running downwards leaving the upper toe of the weld unfilled. When the last bead is complete, remove the slag, cool the piece in water, and inspect the weld. Observe the vertical piece to see if it is still at an angle of 90 degrees to the base. The procedure of welding on alternate sides with each pass should have kept the plate close to its original position. The distortion forces on one side are balanced by similar forces on the opposite side. Now, weld a second T-joint using the same technique and procedure. Tack weld an additional plate to the base of one of the T-joints. Then, tack weld the second T-joint to the plate to form four additional joints. Now these joints are also welded using the same procedure. When you are finished, 
have the instructor inspect the wells.